Yo, what's up, family? Hey, today we're gonna do this book review on uh, another oldie but goodie, and this one is called Dope Fiend yes. by Donald Goins. Give you another clear view. Dope Fiend. <laughs> All right. As I said, we have the whole series. We had it for quite some time. Uh, I wanted to just go through it real quick, but then I thought I said, well, how about we just give a, a personal point of view on each and individual one. But before I get into that, I want to start by telling you guys out there, I want to put a little disclaimer, and I want to, this disclaimer, it involves all of these books, is that although I put out educational videos, money videos, and all kind of other family videos, the Donald Goins series is not for kids. So just to let you guys know that out there, the little disclaimer is that, because he talks about very uneventful things, he talks about uh, unpleasurable things, but things that are very true and touches reality. on reality. Yes. But although they may be true, they're not fit for kids. Mm -hmm. But we all identify stuff like this. So on that note, subscribe, share, like, and comment, and now we're going to get on with the book. So as I said, this one is called Dope Fiend. And in the beginning, like it says, a desperate rage and suffering of a hardcore junkie. junkie. Mm -hmm. And that's what this one's going to be talking about. Uh, dope Fiend talking about a person that's really strung out on dope. Or, you know, remember the crack epidemic back in the days? You know, this would touch on that too. You know, a person that's just so bent on getting this, this drug for the next high over and over again. So, the way the book starts out, you remember the whole book, right? Yes. The way the book starts out, uh, it starts with um, Terry, which was a, a lovely young lady who came from a lovely family and a nice affluent neighborhood, a hardworking two-family home, two-parent two home. Uh, she had everything going for herself. She had a nice job. She went to school, but she wound up hooking up with this guy named Teddy. Which and, they, were, they weren't going out since high school. Yeah, and Teddy oh. was a junkie, and she knew it. Yeah. She knew he was on dope, but she always looked past it because she said, well, he's on that stuff. I ain't worried <laughs> about it. That's just him. I ain't going to be messing well, with that stuff. she was really in love with him. He, yes. she, it says in the book that she would actually do anything for him. Mm -hmm. But when it came down for him, for her to do the um, the drug, she would stay out of it. Yeah. She knew it wasn't good. Because, of mm -hmm. course, she was raised, raised right. And I like her that you said that told. because you're right. She was totally against the drugs, but she was very much into him. Yeah. And what happens when you're so in love with somebody, sometimes that love can turn into ignorance of, well, I'll just try it this one time. That type of stuff. And before exactly. you know it, he had her using these drugs. And it just messed her whole world up because everything her parents would tell her, she just went against everything, all the values she grew up, and she just went against all of that. And just listening to this guy, and this guy just tore her world up. You yeah, the thing me? was that she also, uh, she knew that it wasn't a good thing to be with him, but because she was so in love, she just decided she just want to be with him everywhere. Mm -hmm. And she and he was leading her up to that place. What's it called? Por Porky's Por house? The word dog. Yeah. Porky the was the one house. that ran the drug house. Yeah, and, it was the dope, dope house. Yeah, the dope fiend house. And his house was a, a house of horrors. For the example, smell. The, the smell, the stench. And he just used to have a bunch of dope fiends laying around the, the, the apartment all the time. Everybody's getting mm -hmm. high. Uh, needles in their arms, blood splatters all on the floor, needles all laying all around, just a total disaster of horror of what drugs, it really made you feel like you was there, as I said in one of my other videos, mm -hmm. he's very scrupulous, meaning he's very good in details, he put all the little details, made you understand what, a, how it was in a crack house, a dope fiend house back in those days, and Teddy used to go there to get his drugs, and Terry never wanted to go, but eventually she wind up going yeah. with him and and the horrors that she's seen up there uh people just looking like they was walking zombies but he had to get these drugs but you know also porky the guy that was actually selling the drugs mm. and give you know actually giving the drugs to the um to mm. the young young people in yeah. there he he actually looked at um terry as far as like you're gonna be one of us yeah because he's gonna be one i know of you hate it porky. She, he knew how the streets were mm -hmm. and he could read Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't going to jump on Porky right away. Let's, let's start with Terry. Let's get, go from the beginning to the end. Now, Teddy, I said she had a good job. But at her job, uh, once she started using this drugs, now all of a sudden, oh, yeah. while she'd be working, instead of at a clothing place, while she's working, instead of doing her job, all she's thinking is, I got some dope in my pocket. Yeah, I, can't, I can't wait 
They go to my, yeah, she it was calling her. I can't wait to go to the bathroom and do this drug, do this mm -hmm. drug. Now, what you said was calling her. See, now that's like a sign of called dopamine. Yeah. Now, as I said, in every video, I love to give y'all word of the day. So the word of the day is going to be called dopamine. Dopamine. Now, dopamine is a natural drug that is releasing everybody. Everybody has that in us. This is dopamine or serotonin. It's the same thing as when you have an urge for something. You know, um, it could be even you. Look, look how how the world try to in, how to um, activate your dopamine. For example, commercials. Right? commercials. Let's say you're home watching a TV show, mm -hmm. right? How many times do you watch a TV show and then they go to commercials and then they show a juicy, greasy burger from Burger King, <laughs> McDonald's, whatever, and then right away your mind go, hmm. I want one of them burgers. You know, I'm about well, to go to school. I have a taste for it, See, even though it wasn't. That's dopamine yeah. being released in your mind. It doesn't mean it's drug, but it's somewhat of a drug. It's a natural drug. It's, it's like, like a natural you. high of calling you where you saying, mm -hmm. I got to go get it. I got to go get it. Remember, we all remember Pookie from New Jack City. Remember the part where Pookie was like, man, it cracked. Just be calling me, man. It be calling me, man. I just got to go to it, man. Though. I just got to go to it. Like that. Yeah, that's that. See, now that's dope. So it makes you think. The book is called Dope Fiend, but as I just told you about the word dopamine, which is a natural neurotransmitter, which it, it, it sends signals to say, mm, I want this, I want this. So, hence, dopamine lets you know where they get the word dope from. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because when a person gets hooked on dope, they just constantly, I need that drug. I need it. I need it. I got to get it more. I gotta get... Their whole life becomes about dope. And in the book, remember, Terry, all she was doing was going to get high in the bathroom while she's working. So silly, she she was snorting the coat, the dope. So silly, she would come out of the bathroom with she powder on her hard, nose. Yes. And too stupid to realize her work was like, hey, you looking kind of messy. She's like, yeah, I'm kind of sick. I don't know what's going on, but I think I'm just not feeling good. And they like, hey, girl, you're not. And before you know it, Terry, it got to the point. Well, yeah, because remember when she when she was doing all of that, she was already hanging out with Dolphin. With, with Dolphin. With, and then she hooked up with this one girl named Minnie. Minnie. That she she was a low life. I mean, yeah. But if you really listen to her, also to her story, it was very short. The saying how she grew up, it was very sad. Yeah, she had been through hardship. Sad. She. Yeah. It's sad when someone. Uh, grew up in poverty, been raped by their mother's boyfriend, and mm -hmm. been through so much. It's hard for them to come up out of that, and she still was dealing with that. Exactly. Not only mm -hmm. that, while she was using the dope, um, the dope, she was also pregnant. Yes. So the thing is that mm -hmm. she was helping Minnie and Terry were um, well, helping well, each other. Well, oh, you're right. Life. She's right. Not discrediting that. that. It's just that what she's talking about was once Terry lost her job because of the drug, and then the lady that fired her, actually called her parents and told her parents what, and they was in disbelief, like, no, that's not our daughter, not our daughter, no, it's no way. And and everybody that would let the parents know, her parents were so in denial, like a lot of parents, not my daughter, not my son, and and she, she started lying to her parents about everything. Remember, she went to the mother, and she said, Mom, you yeah. think I could borrow such and such money because I need to get this really nice dress for my job? And the mother's like, girl, I just gave you the money the other day. And how about your paycheck? She's like, yeah, but I just, it's on layaway. I need to go get the money right now. And her mother get her money, but she go get high. Yeah, but babe, how is it possible that they could think so innocent, um, so... Um, Gotta pay attention. Yeah, but the thing is that they, in their own state of mind, they, they feel as if they, wrote, they raised they their They raised daughters her right. right, you're right. So but they wouldn't think much anything about her daughter. Who said this a while ago? I forgot. It was one of the documentary books I read where the guy said, um, when you're raising your kids, sometimes you got to even raise your kids' friends because it's going to be your mm -hmm. kids' friends yeah. who they're going to be influenced by. Mm -hmm. And although you taught them right, they're going to listen a lot to their friends, their boyfriends, girlfriends, all that type of stuff. And before you know it, you're like, wait a minute, I didn't teach you that. So that's what that's, that touches on that, what you're talking about. Because they raised her right, but it's her boyfriend. She studied listening to this clown, and he tore her life apart. And then remember, the second time, she went to the father. And now she got money from the mother. Now she, because remember, she lost her job. She ain't got no yeah, money yeah, more. So and her boyfriend, her Teddy, took mm -hmm. her car. He's he's wrecking the car. He's getting tickets. Now she went to the father and said, Dad, you think I could get some money because I'm going to buy Mommy this fancy coat. And he's like, girl, what's the money? Girl, you just had money the other day. Just snap. And she begged him, then he gave her the money. Then, then he even got on about, I also wanted to talk to you about, girl, there's a ticket came in the mail for the car. And, and the car note. Yeah, and she's like, oh, yeah, I was going to tell you about that. I parked in the wrong spot. All these lies. 
And then he said, well, also, the, uh, the car dealership sent me a notice. You ain't been paying your car payment. Oh, yeah, daddy, I was going to tell you that, too. And he said, look, girl, I don't know what's going on in your life, but you better straighten up. That's it's, what drugs do. This is what drugs do to people. Have you lied, cheat, and steal. And so now, now let's get back to your boy, Porky. Porky was the one who ran the drug house. And you couldn't stand it. But you know, it was, it's funny that he would sell the drugs to his own people, but he never, he was yeah, never, he never uh, used, yeah, he, he never wasn't used, used his own product. Yeah, and like she said yeah. earlier, the girl Minnie, because Minnie used to, she was a dope fiend in the house too. Mm -hmm. And, but Minnie no longer had money. She was pregnant, but Minnie was a prostitute. And now she was getting so big that she could no longer prostitute. Nobody, no Johns was, was wanting to be with her so, so she, was, she gave Ter um, terry the idea of doing prostitute. it because she was so pretty and yeah. she had the body for terry it. terry who you would have never thought this girl would be doing these things now she was out there prostituting she went from snorting dope who she never thought she'd do that to now she was shooting it up in her arms mm -hmm. because she was like i get a quicker high that way this girl and this all because of teddy Teddy just was ruining her life, had her doing all this crazy stuff. But like I said, you couldn't stand Porky. Oh, no. Because, see, Porky, he was a bad guy. He was he he gave all the drugs to the dope fiends, but whenever they didn't have money or whenever they uh, whenever it was a real beautiful woman like Terry, he always, he, he was like, I can't wait to the day she going to really fall on her face. And when she fall on her face, she's going to come begging for me for this drug. I'm a, he loved to humiliate people. So he yes. he used to have mm -hmm. dope fiends in the house doing all kind of sexual stuff and so so devious. He was he's a freak. Yeah, he used to have them doing sexual stuff to dogs, just to humiliate them. And I remember me yeah. and you got in that conversation because as much as you hated him, I was explaining to you, it's this is like a ingrown hatred of this is normally the type of guy when he was younger in high school, whatever case, he didn't get the girl, he didn't get the attention, and now that he got. Uh, power, because the drug is the power. Mm -hmm. Now that he got power, he wants to humiliate people with this power, because I didn't have the, the fame or the power in high school, but now I got the power now, which is the drug, and he mm -hmm. got a kick out of humiliating, especially the women. He would have them uh, perform sexual acts and say, I'll give you this drug if you do this to my dog, and have sex in oh, front of everybody. And, and it's it Yeah, sick. it is sick, mm -hmm. but the sad part about it, when a dope fiend is that gone with drugs they think they'd never do these things but when they so messed up with drugs it's crazy how drugs will change your life around and make you do crazy things we are all familiar with that do things that you said you will never do but because this drug got a hold of you when you got a hold of you you do stuff way out of out of the way that you never would have thought you did and that's how terry life started spiraling down but like you said many had her prostitute. She never thought she was a prostitute. She don't come from, she wasn't raised like that. She never thought she'd do drugs. She wasn't raised like that. No. But no. these drugs got a hold of her. And now she, she her life is just crazy. And she also was becoming a leech. Yeah. Minnie was becoming a leech. Because no, she's so knows, big. Terry knew it. Yeah, but she's it like, was other way she could have done it. She was having Terry do everything. Yeah. You yeah. know? Mm-hmm. Is that yeah, I, it's like I, I'm telling you, no one, no one tells you and force you to do anything mm -hmm. you don't want it to be. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like I tell him, you put yourself in a certain situation, um, situation because you want it to be. Because mm -hmm. nobody makes you, nobody puts a yeah. gun in your head and tell you you got to do this. this okay, or that. how about another one? Let's go with Teddy. Remember, cause yeah. Teddy the one that messed messed up Terry life. Teddy was such a he was such a jerk off. Like, he would use anybody to get money. Matter of fact, remember I said he would always go to her job before she got fired. I want, he needed her paycheck to get drugs. He needed her car to get drugs. Even when she finally got her car back and left him, he'd go back home to his mother and his sister. His sister got kids. He, he even stole his sister's uh, welfare check. From, yeah, he, he kind the mailman to get her welfare check and went to the local place that knew him and the family and cashed her check. Oh, and behold, the sister chased him like, no. I, and said to the mailman, I hope you ain't give him my check. And yeah. she called the police right away, and they, they caught him and locked his butt up. But then this is the part that made me mad. When they locked him up, the mother was so telling Betsy, the sister, you better get your brother out. You better drop charge. And she's she like, mom. She's protected by her son. Yeah, she's she like, mom, he's a dope He need help. She, you got to stop knew. running to his rescue all the time. Yeah, she knew the, how, how low he was. Yeah. Now, how, the loser, how much of a loser... 
he was, but it was just a mother's love. It's she made me mad. Yeah, because she, she showed more attention to him than Betsy. It's like it, he kept screwing up. And even when they got locked, remember he got locked up late in the book for something else I forgot. Whatever, something he did. And the mother and them went down and bailed him out of jail on a whole nother occasion. And when they bailed him out, he snuck out the side door just to avoid seeing them. Well, the mother didn't bail him out. It was Bessie. Okay. And she dropped all the charges. Yeah. And he, now, when he said to the police officer, he said, what's that door right there? And the officer's like, he said, my, mo my mother, your mother and your sister's downstairs. You kept that elevator right there and go downstairs. He's like, what's that door? He's like, to the side door. He went out the side door and went yeah. to go get more drugs. It's like, see, the mom, you so trying to save this guy, but you really crippling him because he needs help. But you keep getting him out of his jams just to get in bigger jams. Which but you is don't ridiculous. know, but you know, I think she really did knew that he wasn't going to mm -hmm. be relieved or get any help. No, Bessie knew that. The mother but was the on mother, some... Yeah, but the mother knew that he wasn't, he was just, uh, one day he was just going to be, he was going to mm -hmm. be out there and he's going to get killed. Mm -hmm. You know what else part I, I, I didn't like about your homegirl, Minnie? Now, Minnie used to be in that house doing the dope and all that. And when, when Porky used to talk sexual to her, she was like, oh, in your dreams, you fat bastard you will never be with somebody I me mean, you bastard this and she used to talk real reckless this man is giving you dope letting you be in his house and she used to talk like that but oh and behold like porky said he said oh the mighty will fall and he mm -hmm. said and and when she do i'm gonna be right here and i'm gonna put her face in it and sure enough when she felt she had no money, this and that, and was just begging all the time out there on the prostitution and stroll for the whole night. And nobody picked up a nut. She couldn't get the money. She went back begging. She Because that, that monkey was on her back, figuratively speaking, meaning she needed yeah. the drugs. She was stressing out, sweating, and, and panicked. <laughs> I just need the drug. I just need it. I just need it. And she went to Porky, and oh and behold, he said, oh, look how the mighty has fallen. Hmm. <laughs> And he said, I'll give you some drugs. And he said, come in the room with me. And he had his way with her. But then after that, he said, I'll give you a third of whatever amount. He said, if you go and freak my dog off. Oh, and, and remember, God. she said she would never have sex with him. But now she is. And she's doing this freaky jump with the dog. Mm -hmm. But And she did it and got the drugs. But then she went back to her hotel room. And she couldn't believe what she had just did. And she just, she lost it. Yeah, she, she lost was it. just so low. She felt low, low beyond yeah. anything. She said, yeah. I can't believe I just did that for these drugs. And she killed herself. And it, yeah, and then she climbed up on that. That part was, it was, mm. woo, that part was yeah. touching. Because she, uh, she put, she got on top of the dress and put the, the noose around. Yeah. And, and she right. jumped and hung herself. That wasn't the worst part. When she hung herself, she, she died. But then all of a sudden, she was close to um to get mm -hmm. um give birth anyway. But, but just like, before she, she did that, she went banging on okay. Terry's door. Please, you know, let me get some of the drugs, your drugs. And she's like, get out of here! I'm tired of you banging. I'm tired. I'm not raising you. I'm not taking care of both our habits. So she had kicked out, and that's when Minnie went over to Porky and did those little acts. And now she got drugs. She went back, but now she felt so low that she just couldn't take deal with life no more, and she jumped off her dresser and hung herself. And while she was there hanging. All of a sudden, the guilt, it hit Terry. And Terry said, got the little bit of drugs up. And she went yeah. to her room mm -hmm. and was going to share the drugs with her. But as she walked in the room, and then she went around the corridor where her be bedroom was, or living room, she seen a shadow. And the shadow showed a lifeless body hanging from the ceiling. And it showed a fetus hanging out of her body. And when she turned to look at... What was the shower cut? It was Minnie, and the, the newborn baby was hanging out, dead, and she was dead. And, she, and it made Terry just freak out and just went into hysteria and just, she, she became literally yeah, a and, lunatic, yeah, a mental so lunatic. It, it messed her up. But I think in the end, well, in the end, what happened was that she was most, she was getting help for the drama that mm -hmm. she went through, but it's the needle. Oh, she was freaked out. Anytime she, she see the needle, she went crazy. Because now yeah. she's in a crazy house. Yeah, but she yeah. has some uh, mentality of oh, a five-year-old. Yeah, them drugs messed the up drugs that messed bad. Her up, yes. Yeah. But Ted, yeah. Um, Teddy, he died in the end as well. Oh, yeah, because yeah, they tried to rob Porky. Yeah, Porky. And it came back. Mm -hmm. Porky's boys went out to get him. So my point being, see, the mother. You kept trying to get him out of his jam instead of getting him help. And he just getting a bigger but because jam. Because of her. Because mm -hmm. of her, he died in the end. Mm -hmm. Great book, that, though. Oh, yes, it's so touching. <laughs> it's so good that you 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 think you're gonna take a little longer on the book, mm -hmm. but no, it seems so short. 
Mm-hmm. Got anything but, in closing? No, I'm just saying, uh, well, whatever I have to say is that you just got to really be careful who you be with. Mm -hmm. um, make right choices and yeah. um, don't mm -hmm. have someone force you to do something just to prove yourself. Yeah. Just stay away from negative. Be around with positive people because yeah. that's how your, your life is going to be longer in the long yeah. run. You know? And what I would say in closing is subscribe, share, like, and comment. Mm -hmm. We're going to do the whole, whole collection. Yes, total of 16 books. I think we did two already, El Dorado Red and Swamp Man. And now this was Dope Fiend. Dope Fiend yeah. uh, and as I said, the word of the day was dopamine. And that'll let you know where they get the word dope from. They get it from dopamine, which dopa, dopamine is a natural trans neurotransmitter in your brain that it, it's like when you want something so bad, you're like, oh, I got to get this. I got It don't matter what it is in life, food, uh, alcohol, um, sports, something that you just, oh, just, you want more, you want more sex. It's like, oh, I want more. You got that urge for, you got that, oh, I got to get it. I got to get it. That's dopamine, natural transmitters, natural neurotransmitters being released. So you learned the new word of the day as always. And uh, on that note, we're going to let y'all go. Peace.